Welcome to the Synod 2023 prayer on the CRC Facebook page. My name is John Hookema, pastor at Horizon Community Church in Downers Grove. I also serve as prayer shepherd for the Christian Reformed Church. Each morning, we will be posting a video, uh, me leading a prayer for the prayer activities for the day. Uh, the prayer will be based on the scripture passages that we will be using for our early morning prayer gatherings here at Synod. Also, that it's being used for the 30-minute prayer vigil uh, that has been uh, being sent out to over 150 people who are uh, signing up to prayer, pray 30 minutes each day for Synod as we gather. Though this recording is going to not be 30 minutes, probably about 10 to 15 minutes or so, um, I invite you to pause uh, the playback of this, if you'd like to pray longer than the allotted time that I have, I'm going to be giving prompts. So go ahead and pause this, and that gives you more time to pray. This morning, we are praying from for the first day of sin, Friday, June 9, and we are going to be praying from Psalm 32, 1 through 5. Let me read that for us. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sins the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy on me. My strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to, the, transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. In our time together in praying this week, we'll be praying in the rhythm of the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer begins with reverence. And so we're going to begin with the time of praise, praising God for his forgiveness that he gives through the grace of Jesus Christ. Join me in praying. God, you have blessed us so deeply by the forgiveness of your sins. And God, we praise you because you are the one who forgives. We praise you for forgiving us for. And God, we praise you for, for forgiving us from the guilt of our sin. God, that you no longer hold that against us. God, that Jesus took our guilt and our sin and the punishment we deserved onto the cross. And God, we praise you that you have freed us from guilt and shame. How else can you praise God this, today for the freedom he gives in Christ Jesus? Go ahead and lift those up before the Lord today. After Jesus teaches us to pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, beginning in reverence, the Lord's prayer then continues with our response. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When we realize God's grace given to us, we realize that God so freely gives. And our response then is to understand that God is God and we are not. And so we submit to his will. We submit to him. And so let's, out of this passage, submit to God. God, we acknowledge that sometimes we'd rather hide our sinfulness from you and hide our sinfulness from ourselves. Help us to confess the transgressions of. So let's take a few moments asking God that we be, become humble before him. That we be willing to confess. That we be willing to bring out into the open that which we would rather hide in the dark. Let's respond to God's grace that way. God, we often would rather keep our sins hidden. But as David writes in Psalm 32, when we keep silent, our bones wasted away, though we're groaning all day long, your hand was heavy on us day and night. God, 
you do that out of love, calling us to repentance, calling us to confession, calling us to bring that out of the open. God, help us to be people who confess. Jesus continues and he teaches us to pray the Lord's Prayer after our reverence and after our response is to bring our requests. Give us this day our daily bread, the resources that we need. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. That's about relationships. And so we're going to pray, first of all, out of this psalm, that God who comforts us with his love when we confess that we are to love others with that same love. God, help us to love one another with the same love that you love us. God, that doesn't keep record of wrong, that forgives freely. God, even in your word, when the disciples asked, how much should I forgive? Seven times, and you said, no, 70 times seven. God, thank you that you forgive us that way. And who is it that you need to offer that grace to? Maybe there's somebody that you're holding a grudge against. Maybe there's somebody that you are not forgiving. Who is it that you might need to show grace? The same grace that God shows to you that you need to show to them. As we pray for the activities of Synod today, we have opening worship this morning, led by Church of the Servant here in Grand Rapids. We have advisory committee meetings in the afternoon. We have the opening session where officers are being chosen. And so let's take a few moments to pray for those things, that those who are chosen to be officers would serve well, that those who are committee chairs and committee reporters would do their work well. And let's spend a few moments praying for those advisory teams, advisory committees that are working and doing the work for the first two days of Synod behind before all of us come back together. Um, let's spend a few moments praying for them. God, we pray for your wisdom we pray for your insight. We pray, Lord God, for your strength. God, we pray for those who are leading and those who are in conversation, those who are advising the different committees. God, we pray for each of them now. God, we pray as our 40 days of prayer theme, that we would have the same mindset as that of Christ Jesus, that of humility and that of serving. God, we pray that those who are as synod here, God, would have that mindset. God, that would love one another deeply. God, in many ways, we pray that we would be more uh, concerned about loving each other well than being right. Not that we are going to just discard truth, God. But God, help us to love one another. God, Romans 5 says, well, we were yet enemies. You died for us. God, help us to love our brothers and sisters in Christ in the same way you loved us while we were yet enemies of the cross. God, today as we gather and work Give us the heart of Christ toward one another, we pray. The Lord's Prayer ends. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And it really is a pattern, a picture of readiness, of going into this day, of, of realizing that there is spiritual warfare. There is a spiritual world that we often kind of ignore. Um, but the reality is, the work that we do here at Synod is as much physical as it is spiritual. And so as pray as the delegates work today, 
that they would interact with one another with grace and comfort, with love. So as we close our time together in prayer, let's make that our prayer. God, we do pray that we would show love to one another. To those who have different thoughts and opinions and perspectives, God, help us to show grace. God, help us to show grace and love, the same grace and love you show to us. And so God, in this day, the work of synod of this day, in the difficult moments, in the disagreements, in all those times together, God, may we see you. God, we lift these things up before you and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us today here on Friday, June 9, and tomorrow I will be back with uh, prayer for our work on Saturday. Have a wonderful day. God bless.